Now, during the holidays, there are so many opportunities to overindulge. Yeah, there certainly are. But here to help us kickstart healthy holiday habits and educate us on easy and healthy replacements for unhealthy eats, we have nutritionist and fitness expert, Terry Williams. Terry, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so give us the motivation because, you know, everything is in full swing for the holidays. It is. You know, we ought to be in full swing for fitness, too. Because the thing is, people want to wait till January 1. Right. You know how it goes. You start a program, you get sore, you're not really motivated to eat clean. It's hard. It takes a few weeks to get into it. So I say, why not start now? So think about it now. We have about a month until the new year. But before we move on, we should also mention that, Terry, you are a new dad. I am. <laughs> and you have Terry the third. You are Terry Jr. Because yes, your dad correct. is Terry. Oh. Look at this photo. And, folks... Terry the third is also here with yeah. your wife. They're here in the mall today. We can see them even though you cannot see them. Absolutely adorable. So, congrats. But you're dealing with what a lot of folks are dealing with, of, you know, with children. You're not getting any sleep. You said yeah. you were awake at 3 o'clock this Absolutely morning. Absolutely in a busy season of life, for sure. And I get it. People are busy. Life gets in the way. Work is time consuming as well. But it's time to get this health habit thing going now. So then January 1, you wake up with spring in your stuff, feeling good, ready to get after it. Would you say that diet is the absolute most important thing? If you have to pick, you know, diet, fitness, what sleep, <laughs> what is the I actually most... feel like balance is the most important thing. Now, Terry, you can... none of us can get balance. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, let's say, though, if, if you're working a long day, though, Terry, and you have the option of going home and having a good dinner and getting in bed early versus going to the gym, what would you do? I would say try to be efficient with your workout time if you have to cut it a little short and can still get home to get a decent amount of sleep. Ah, oh, man. Words, go for that 30 it's never, it's never really the most simple or attractive <laughs> answer, but really and truly it's make the better choice in most of the meals that you're eating. Try to get fitness in more days than rest days in your week uh, and try to get that good sleep if you can. But you could work out a gazillion hours at the gym if you're not eating right. Very important component. You've got to eat clean. So you can't speaking, forsake any piece of it. When it comes to eating right then, you've brought some examples today. Why don't yes. we start over here with this delicious looking Fantastic. turkey chili. If you guys yes. can get a so, shot of that. I'm all about getting the flavor and the fuel. It's got to be tasty or you're not going to touch it. It's got to be healthy or it's not going to benefit you. Go ahead and pardon it. garnish this with a little parsley. You got to make it pretty too. You got to make it beautiful. <laughs> so, Wait a minute though. So you made this turkey chili from scratch? Yes, I did. What did you put in it? It's very, very simple. So I just saute some onion and garlic, chopped, okay. and then the cool thing about chili is you can throw all the ingredients in there at once and yeah. let them simmer and it's done, right? So we got the lean turkey in there. We've got the beans, so you got a good protein profile there. Um, some crushed tomatoes to make it soupy, some chili powder to season it, and then my favorite piece, most powerful piece, is kale. Tons and tons of tiny little chopped bits Wait, of kale. Wait, you have kale in there? Yeah, you can't see it, you can't taste you it. You just finally chop it? Just finally chop that kale, toss it in there. It's going to soup into it real smooth to where you can't see it. You're not thinking kale, but you're Your getting... son has no idea that he's in for <laughs> kale in right. this Kale, I know kale is the big craze right now, right. but the biggest yeah. complaint people have, myself included, is that the spiny coarseness of it right. is yeah. just a little hard to swallow. Yeah. yeah. So this is a great way so around that. You chop it up very finely. It works because you can break it down into a soup to where it just virtually disappears. And soup is great for this time of year. It's, it's a cold weather food that warms the bones. It's nice and hearty. A day like today, this would be perfect. Ooh. You could do it this afternoon. Right. That will boost your immune system. It'll fight heart disease. It'll help keep your six-pack dreams alive. Kale is like the quintessential <laughs> power food. It'll help keep your six-pack dreams alive. <laughs> yeah, mine died a long, long time ago. Did you do this in the crock pot or did you just do it in a big old no, pot? No, I just did this in a, a, a stove pot uh, on the stove top. Um, it takes about 30 minutes. It's quick and easy. Okay, so let's move on to some oh, sugar swaps. Yes. That's, that's super hard right now with all yeah. of the yummy Lots goodies of cakes out and there. Pies are out. Yeah. So let's start here with the fruit first. Um, <laughs> Derek's sorry, it is so good. I just, one just more bite, one more bite. Chili. So um, fruit is awesome because it's got naturally occurring clean sugars in it. Sure, there's sugar in fruit, but this is entirely different from the processed junk food sugars. Now, if you take in more of this, your body craves less of that, right? Yeah. And then because it's holiday season, I'm a big advocate of candy canes. Seriously? Wait a minute. You're We're telling all going me to, to eat a candy cane? <laughs> Why is I'm that? I'm telling you that it's better than plenty of the uh, sugary cravings and temptations that you're going to walk into. Lots of cakes, lots of pies. Sure, have fun. Have a little bit in moderation, of course. But with a candy cane, the science of the sugar is simple. Here's the deal. You're eating it at a lollipop pace. You're not taking bites and chewing and swallowing. You're just kind of casually sucking over time. So you're getting little bits of sugar slowly 
over time. It's pacing. That makes that total sense. Intake. And the difference between having like a soda and a juice is that if you actually have a whole candy and a piece of fruit, it gives your body more time to digest those there we sugars go. instead of a major rush. Okay, last on the list, eggnog. Are you sure this is not a mistake, my friend? <laughs> eggnog. So this is healthy. <laughs> this is come so on. So again, I'm trying to give you the flavor and the fuel, right? So I'm taking something that is popularly celebrated as not a fit item right. and giving you a fit alternative as to how you can make okay, this. Okay, how do you make it? So it's got three quarters of a cup of liquid egg whites. Is that safe to drink? That is safe to drink, it my pasteurized. friend. Pasteurized. Yes. Okay. Then you've got uh, one pint of vanilla almond milk. Okay. You're putting these things into a blender with one tablespoon of ground nutmeg. And then the thing that thickens it up, makes it into eggnog, you got three big marshmallows in there. Jennifer, if you're not going to dig in, I am. Oh, <laughs> Heck and then yeah. you have to garnish with a little cinnamon. Garnish with a little cinnamon. Cinnamon is, is really hot right now. A lot yes. of buzz about it. Now, yes. eggnog is one of my favorites. If you buy the grocery store eggnog, folks, though, the first ingredient is <laughs> high fructose corn syrup. Right. So you this is a must in there. Away from the high fructose <laughs> corn syrup. Yes, you have the option <laughs> to turn this into a cocktail by adding some bourbon There's to brandy it. There's brandy in there. Well, so where is it? <laughs> right Listen, Terry, thank you so much. Congrats on your cute new baby. Yes. And for more so info much. on some healthy New Year's habits. It. Visit trainwiththeleague.com. Terry, thanks again. And Thank coming up you. in the spring, got to get this quick mention. He has a book coming out, so stay tuned for mm. that. Coming up next, when unexpected oh, wow. emergencies happen, you